In this video, I'm actually tackling some jobs on the to-do list of LE to 2 CV. Uh, service still needs to happen, bodywork, yeah, whatever, hood, yeah, adjust clutch. That's a nice easy one, let's see if we can tick that off. So the problem with the clutch is that there is too much free play in the pedal. It shouldn't be that much at all, and look, it's um, actually quite a lot. So uh, we're going to go and have a look at the other side and see what we can do about that. We can see the clutch adjusters are these nuts down here. Now I can't remember if the nuts need to go up or down to um, actually make this happen. Um, let's see how tight they are. I don't usually leave these that tight. A uh, simple reason being that you can do it by hand. Life is a lot easier, but that is not moving. So let me grab a spanner. Uh, is it bigger than a 14 on the smaller one? Uh, yes, I think that's probably a 17 and a 19 needed on those. So they should lock together. Uh, I often don't do that. And uh, the reason I don't do that is because once I had a cable snap, I had no tools. But because I'd left the nuts finger tight and had a cable in the car, I was able to change it in the car park of a garden centre. Yeah, they're a bit locked together there. Feels a bit more a bit loose on a 17, but nonetheless. Um, leave the light there. Get the 19 in over here and we shall attempt to pass the two nuts. Oh, this is easier said than done. So this is another reason to leave those locked. Oh, no top of the gearbox has cover has popped off there we go that can happen from time to time got all the brakes to work around here as well that's always fun oh there we go uh, these pliers are just enough to allow me to slacken off the uh, bottom nut I can't remember if I need to go up or down on this, so I'm going to move the lock ring, the lock nut rather, quite a long way away, and then we can experiment and see what happens. Now, there's quite a lot of thread inside the car, so I'm thinking maybe we need to go up. So let's try that first of all. Oh, that big nut is not spinning very nicely on that. Maybe we should have got some of uh, the old penetrating oil on. Where's that gone? Let's try a bit of duck oil on there. Because we need this big nut on the cable to be moving. In order oh, there we go. Uh, apparently I'm going down first. And... Uh, Going to see what difference that made to the pedal, if any. Could have made it better, could have made it worse. We just don't know until we try, folks. That's made it a lot worse. So the, I was right the first time. The nut does apparently need to come up. So let's get you settled in again. That cable tie isn't in your way. It's in your way, isn't it? So, oh, there's a bloody light. I love working on cars, it's great. Alright, so we'll pull that cable down, we'll screw the nut up as far as we can. Oh, not to wire off a terminal, let's put that back on. And uh, let's go and have another look. Fun this job, isn't it? It's one of those jobs where it's nice to have an assistant. And uh, check the pedal now. That, that's too much, we've got no free play at all. And uh, that was starting to operate the clutch and so on and so forth until we get this done that's a tiny little bit of free play i would like a little more yeah i have no idea what the book says uh, for this i probably should know i've been a 2cv for many many years but that feels better than it did it was kind of going to about there which is definitely too far but I will say that'll do. Um, I can hear my friend Ken complaining already. Oh, you're doing it wrong. Um, my 
friend Ken knows very much about these and is often horrified by my antics. So now I'm going to do up the lock nut, but I'm not going to do it tight. I'm going to do it hand tight. That's yeah, lock nut. I'm going to use two hands because uh, I'm holding the camera at the moment. And there we go. It's that simple. Uh, so we've got the, um, uh, the adjuster tightened up again. We've got much better free play on the pedal about where it needs to be. Also found a starter motor wire was coming loose. I uh, had to rearrange this cardboard hose. So it's very often the case for once you start working on an older car, you find more little jobs that just need doing, uh, which is a good reason to be hands on with your old car, because then you've got some idea of what's going on. But uh, that's that. Now I can finish my cup of tea and get back on the Matiz interior mirror project. Will the excitement never end? So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to head to the Hubnut store and buy lovely Hubnut merchandise. I shall see you in a future video. Farewell. I need to cross something off on the to-do list now.